Hey everybody, have you ever wanted to connect your Commodore PET computer to an external video source, like a composite monitor, maybe a projector, an LCD screen, you know, for repairs or to do some demos and presentations? Well, thanks to Rudy of Rudy's Retro Intel, he has designed a board called the PET Companion Board. This is going to be available at the World of Commodore this December, 2023. I'll put a link in the description below to that and also to Rudy's YouTube channel and GitHub. With this board, you can get composite out, audio out, and RGB to HDMI out. So sit back and relax and find out more about Rudy's Commodore Pet Companion Board. Here we have Rudy's Pet Companion Board version 4.0. This was going to be the production ready version to roll out to people. But then in May of this year, 2023, we had a phone call with Adrian of Adrian's Digital Basement talking about it. Adrian had been doing some testing along with me on this for Rudy. And uh, Adrian said, hey, you know what would be really cool is if it had RGB to HDMI out. Rudy agreed. I agreed, but then that took more time in adding that additional circuitry and things to the board, plus board revisions. The final version that at the time of recording this video in November of 2023 is version, I believe, 7.5. Yep, I'm looking at it, 7.5. So I'm gonna show you that next. Here is Commodore Pet Companion Board version 7.5N. Composite out audio out, RGB to HDMI out, the potentiometer for adjusting signal, and of course the five volt tap. This is the unit that I will be demoing in this video. So let me go grab my PET 2001N and show you how this thing gets hooked up and how cool this thing is and what you can do with it. This is the back of my Commodore PET 2001-N. We've got the cassette port, user port and the IEEE port. You wanna plug your Commodore PET companion board into your user port. You wanna take the five volt, put it in your cassette port, and you'll notice there is a pass-through right here. I'm gonna be plugging in my SD to PET future power there. This will go into my IEEE port so we can run some software. So let me get this all turned around, get a couple monitors hooked up and show you and tell you what you can do with the Commodore Pet Companion Board. I wanted to give a quick shout out to my awesome Patreon supporters. These are the folks that support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash geek with social skills. Now back to the video. Here is my setup. We've got my Commodore Pet 2001 on the left. On the right, we've got a Commodore 1701. And up on top, we have got a Zenith monitor, green screen, that a lot of people would use with Apple IIs or other vintage computers. Really hard to try to get all three of these in the shot at one time. So what I'm going to do, and also because of glare, I am going to uh, back up, turn off the room light, so you can just see everything going on three screens at one time. I've got the room lights dimmed down so you can see all three screens really nice. On the left, we've got my Commodore PET 2001 with its original stock green screen. Top right, we've got the Zenith monitor green screen. Bottom right, we've got my Commodore 1701 monitor, which is a color screen, but the PET only puts out basically composite black and white. So that's why it's, it's black and white. So let's go ahead and hit run. You will see back to the pet running. All three are in sync perfectly. The audio is awesome. And what I like to do with my Commodore Pet Companion board is hook it up to a projector. So you can uh, put it up on a big screen or on a wall. Great for demos and presentations. 
good example of that would be the upcoming World of Commodore in December 2023 up in Canada, brought to you by the Toronto Pet Users Group. I will put a link to that down in the description. Rudy of Rudy's Retro Intel will be there with a few assembled pet companions as well as some kits for sale. I will put a link to Rudy's channel down in the description as well as his GitHub. So for wider audience availability of these, you'll want to keep an eye on Rudy's channel as well as his GitHub. So with that in mind, I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't uh, subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel. Um, give it a like if you like it. Two thumbs down if you don't like it. Comment and share the video with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.